This morning, we're going to be reading from Nehemiah. That's going to be our text to preach from. And in the text, we see that Nehemiah pleads with God to remember him. And throughout Scripture, there's a, a constant refrain that God remembers his people. And as he remembers them, he remembers them based on the covenant. And that's why we're here today. God has promised to be our God and, to be, and that we will be his people. And here we have come to the sacrament of baptism to bring in two children into the covenant, the visible church, that we may uh, accept them in and come alongside these parents to raise them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. As we enter into baptism, it's important that we explain baptism. What bapti baptism is simply is that it's a sign and a seal, a sign in that the water represents the blood of Christ, which washes away our sins, and also the Holy Spirit, which is poured out upon us. It's also a seal, and then it's a pledge that all those who come to Christ by faith will be delivered all the benefits of the covenant, salvation, and eternal life. In the Bible, we also look at who do we baptize. First, we see that anyone who is outside the church as an adult who makes a profession of faith, they will be baptized. But also, we look at Scripture and we see that we believe that the covenant includes children, the visible church. So the word of baptized children, we see that from the Old Testament, as God has made the covenant with Abraham that included his children in Genesis 17. We see in the New Testament that baptism is the counterpart to circumcision, the Old Testament sign of the covenant. And we see in Acts 2, when Peter is talking about baptism, it says this, this promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off. That's uh, actually very interesting, but it, it's an echo from the Old Testament, from Genesis 17, showing that this is the sign of the New Testament covenant. So in summary, although these children may not yet have faith, they're not of the world, they're of the church, and we mark this so. As we look at what baptism is, it's also important to explain what baptism is not. It's very clear that baptism does not save these children, because it's only by faith alone that children or anyone comes to Christ and gains salvation. Here at Uptown Church, it's our tradition that we invite the fathers of the family to pronounce a blessing. So I'll invite the Hunt family and, and Jake's company. 